Here's the usual History Channel glorification of the military. Can you believe they didn't say a word about how much all this cost us? I'm 9,000 feet above sea level in the Colorado Rockies. Now about a half mile deep inside this mountain, it's a whole nother story. That's where you'll find the Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Station, or what most of you maggots out there might refer to as NORAD, yeah. Let's go see if there's anybody home. Colorado Springs, Colorado, Cheyenne Mountain. Yes, sir, basic mountain on the outside, but inside is four and a half acres of computerized whoop ass we use to keep tabs on our airspace. Yeah. To get into this top secret facility, you gotta jump through some pretty serious hoops. I was pre-cleared through checkpoint one, but armed security guards ain't gonna just wave your butt on through, so don't even think about trying. At checkpoint two, security gets tighter with screenings and an ID check. Then you gotta hike up the road a piece to the famous tunnel entrance. Cheyenne Mountain Operations Center. This is the only way in, North Portal. Let's go check it out, come on. Now this hole in the mountain isn't exactly the entrance. It's just the entrance to the entrance. Buses, shuttle folks in and out. But I decided to hook it the third of a mile to checkpoint three. Whew. To get inside the nerve center of North America's eye in the sky, you gotta get past checkpoint number three. And then two 25 ton blast doors. They keep the 800 people who work inside protected if the world goes to hell in a handbasket. And I don't get past here without an escort. This is Major David Patterson, and he is the go-to guy for the lowdown on this place. Hey, welcome to our facility, Gunny. Thank you very much, sir. What is this? That is one of our 25-ton blast doors. We have three of them inside of our facility, and they offer us a level of protection while we're inside the mountain. Protection from what? From nuclear blasts, seismic activity, or any intruders who may want to come inside of our facility. Have these doors ever been closed in anger? During 9-11, we basically had information that an aircraft was headed to our location. So we did close them for about three and a half hours until we dealt with that threat. Well, I want to see what's inside. Do you mind? Well, Gunny, let's go inside. Come on. Wow. So here it is. You know, what I was expecting when I came in is you walk inside of this little tunnel and then all of a sudden there's a huge, big cavernous cave with buildings inside. But that's not the case. No, Gunny, and that's what most people expect. They expect uh, a cavern, but actually what you've seen are a series of tunnels. Now behind that wall there are 15 independent buildings. 12 of those buildings are three stories high. The other three buildings are two stories high. There's over 200,000 square feet of office space in our facility. And believe it or not, the whole doggone shebang floats above the cave floor. Gunny, before we go in, I wanted to show you the real Colorado Springs. This is what our buildings sit on. There's 1,319 springs that sit on all 15 independent buildings. Now, what the springs allow the buildings to do is to absorb impact of a nuclear blast or seismic activity. The buildings will move one foot in any direction for seismic activity or that nuclear blast. Well, how cool is that? People out in California could take a couple of lessons from you guys, huh? They could. This is as good a time as any to answer an email from Bob in Dallas, Texas. 